Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aziza. I'm reading today for the sign of uh, Gemini for the month of December 2019 for love and relationship. Gemini. Wow, Gemini, it seems to be that, okay, someone is coming, I see that at the end, and we'll see who is coming. Okay, this is what's going on here. The whole past year, you were on and off with an ex. You never trusted the ex, because it sounds to be the ex, like, you know, that they keep things to themselves, and they don't want to be open with you. You want it always, the ex to tell you the truth. Honestly, you try to get rid of the ex really very much also. You didn't want to deal with them. And as much as you keep want to lose them, they keep coming back to you and you keep taking them back. It feels to me that you know that your ex is in a different relationship right now. And for some reason you start to be emotional your outlook to your ex changed. You still want it, your ex. You start to want it, your ex more. You had kind of like a collapse from I don't want you to, I want you so much. I love you, I'm in love with you. Which is before they tell you I love you and you go like, yeah, I love you too. Like you don't mean it in a way that leave me alone. Now you love them, you want them. You are hurting because they choose someone else because your ex keep really coming to you and propose to you and want you and you are kind of like, yeah, okay, we'll do that. But you didn't mean it. Now you want to rush your ex suddenly to move in with you and be with you and marry you and you are giving your ex the relationship. You felt suddenly that you want it and you are losing them because they are not giving you the attention anymore. It sounds to be that your ex still mad at you for too many reasons because you kept, you kept pushing them back and forth. Your ex was really too emotional for you and now they don't want to be emotional. They are emotional for another person. Your ex felt hurt because in the time that they needed you, you wasn't there for them. That's why they give you the cold shoulder right now. You do love your ex. When your ex was your husband or your wife, you do love them. You did, you were like, you know, really very nice to them all the time. But lately that as soon as you offer them this and you told them that you want them to be with you at that time, it felt like, you know, you get really together on a day. It was really very nice. It was very sweet. It was very kind. The second day, like, you know, the ex, like, you know, wanted to hurt you as much as you hurt them before. And they become cold. You did not believe it. You were very hurt. Deeply, deeply hurt. After you cleared your energy for the whole time here. Now you start from the beginning and you are hurting. How come my ex is not really emotional and there for me anymore? I need him or her. I want them to be there for me. I'm alone. I'm emotional. I'm, I, I need some attention. Your ex believed that, you know, they had a fair chance like him to give you too much attention in the past, but, you know, you kept, you kept rejecting and you kept looking into yourself.
Now it's their turn to turn their back on you and become cold. Your ex is not really sure yet, like, you know, if he, if they, he or she want to come back to you or not yet. You are up and down, like, you know, in your thoughts about it now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Your ex knows that you have been truthful and honest with them from the beginning and you have been there for them. And they know that they disappoint you a lot. You feel that you disappointed your ex. But it looks to me that, you know, the table have been switched around on you. Because I see that your ex here wasn't really too sincere in too many ways, you know. Your eyes still love you very much. They want you. They want to be with you. They know you are alone. They have a connection with you very strong. They know you are a good person very much. You were kind of like, you know, okay, there is, I have a new relationship. You are telling your ex because your ex is not giving you attention. Your ex is worried right now that you are going to be meeting with someone. They love you so much, but they are hurting by you and you are hurting by them. You will be communicating with each other still, which is you said to yourself, I'm not going to really communicate because he or she did not come through at that time when you want them to be around you at that time. And you say, like, you know, if they come to me, like, you know, for example, I need to spend the weekend with you. And when they are not doing it, and you said, if you call me after the weekend, I'm not going to pick up the phone. They are not taking that threat seriously here. And they feel you're going to change your mind and take their call and communicate. But it feels to you, enough of enough. I've done enough. And I get hurt at the end, no matter what I did. Been there, been serious. It sounds to be here that your ex is really in a connection with someone else. They meant very well for you in the past. They want to return to you, but they don't trust your loyalty. They are worried, which is you have been loyal the whole time. They know it, but now they don't trust it. There is a great connection between you two here. It feels to me that they will return. Your ex is going to return to you. You want them to return to you now before it's too late. But it says here that, you know, there is a new cycle is you and your ex is going to go through <clears throat> that will make him or her change the whole, the whole outlook. Like a start from the beginning, like nothing happened. It's like a rebirth. Kind of like a, a rebirth, something like, you know, connected with the past, like, you know, whatever you had before, setbacks, uh, misunderstanding, anything. All of it is going to go away. And you're going to start fresh from the beginning, like, like the, your past with him or her, it did not exist. 
Your ex still protective over you. They are not letting you go. You told them I have a new relationship. They want to know who is the new person in your life. Are you going to be happy, not happy? Is uh, this person going to be like, you know, um, better than them? All of these kind of jealousies, like, it's like he or she let go, but they are not letting go. Your ex is doubting themselves and they are extremely, extremely jealous. 100% jealousy here. They think or feel that you are holding back on them, which is they are the one who is holding back. You, dear Gemini, going to be in a new relationship that is coming to you out of the blue that you did not think in the time that you are busy your mind on your ex here. It seems to be that another person is entering your life without you feeling it or thinking about it. It's like, hey, wait, hey, wait a minute. Um, who is this? Like, okay. This person who entered your life is going to be someone who's committed for marriage. If you want to be really like, you know, just uh, contacting your ex or trying to get their attention at this time, they might really end up being called to you and you don't want that. So if you want them back, you need to wait for a better timing because this is not the right timing for you to connect or you will be getting hurt. It will be like kind of a disaster or something really not good. You will still hold on each other for, for a better timing here, but... A new person is entering your life and they will want even like you know, immediately to be in a relationship with you. They want the actual marriage, commitment. It's going to be really a, a very good person. Caring. Giving. And this person also who's going to enter your life, they have been hurt before with someone else. You have been hurt also with someone else. But you are going to understand each other. You and this new person are going to be reawakened your feelings again. This is something like coming really very, very, very soon this month. You will connect with this person. At least this person is going to be a loyal person and giving. You will be extremely happy. I see from this, it's going to turn into this. If you need to clear your energy at this time here, like that, you need to let go and forgive and let go your ex. Some of you, I still see that they are going to be dealing with the ex one more time, but it's better to get your stuff, like, no. Your, your stuff all together to yourself, like you know, not to be too emotional because I see that it's like you want to depend on your ex like you know, um, emotionally at this time. They want to depend on you emotionally and it's not really something going to be good because if you connect with each other, yes, there is that true love between you two. There is a lot of hurt feelings are not really going to go away very fast or easy. Are very quick it feels to me that you know in the beginning of the next year you will know for sure whom you want to stay with because you will end up making the choice between the ex and the new person you will go where your heart makes you happy I hope you you enjoyed your reading dear Gemini and we'll see what's going to happen. And if you need a private reading for a specific person, please contact me on mysticalaziza.com. The information will be in the description box below this video. And happy holidays. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.